Do you find it really hard to stick to a workout routine? You're navigating through the fitness industry, you find one workout routine, then a couple of weeks later you watch a video that contradicts what you're doing, you end up confused, you end up slightly put off. And to be honest, when building muscle, losing fat or getting stronger, you're doing pretty much the same workout routine, unless you're competing. That is. So by the end of this video, you will have three ways to make sure you stay on track with your workout routine. The first thing you want to do is you want to find a workout that actually fits your schedule, one you can stick to. I know that sounds obvious, but most people will go for the more is better to try and get faster results. That can work for some time, but if you don't get injured, life will throw you off track. And then when you're, once you're actually off track, it's gonna be hard to get back on because you know you have to, well, you don't know. You think you have to do this extreme routine to get results. In reality, what you wanna be doing is you wanna be doing the least amount to get the maximum results. Also, if you watch my previous video, you will know that the body can adapt. So more is not better, better is better. If your goal is to look good, look better, then you want to prioritize resistance training. It's got countless health benefits. I am biased towards resistance training. That's purely because of what I've experienced from it, what my clients have experienced from it, and the research available on the countless health benefits of resistance training. And let's face it, if you don't build muscle, when you lose the fat, you're not gonna look how you want to look, and that's gonna completely throw you off track like it did me. So let's get into what you wanna be doing in terms of resistance training. You can easily be tempted to jump to like a four to five day a week resistance training split, but that's not what I suggest. I suggest doing either a two day a week full body split, but if you've got some maybe six or seven or eight months behind your belt in terms of training, a three day a week full body split will do just fine, as long as that fits with your schedule. If you're gonna do two days a week, do two days a week. But if you can fit in three days a week, that's three 45 minute to 60 minute sessions a week, then that's gonna be a great starting point. To be honest, that can be the bulk of your one to two years of resistance training. If that's all you can fit in, that's still gonna give you the most, well, most of your results. If you can add a fourth session in and it doesn't completely stretch your schedule, then I would suggest doing that as well. But don't do that straight away. Stick with three until you've nailed three and you can, you're can. still getting results, then you can change that. Then you can, uh, you know, you can add another session in, for example. You can work up to the recommended volume, which simply put is the total number of sets you're doing. That is between 12 and 20 sets, but for most of you, if you're under five years of resistance training, I would say between 12 and 15 hard sets per major muscle group. And an example three day a week split is on screen now. So that's a three day a week full body split. You can turn that into a two day a week full body split if you're just starting out. The second one is don't fall into that intensity trap. I'm not saying your workouts shouldn't be intense. They should be more intense than last time. And that's all relative. You shouldn't be so fried that you can't do anything else for the rest of the day and it puts you off working out in the morning, the only time you can work out. And then when you wanna work out in the evening, you're just too tired to experience that same kind of just dead feeling, literally like you've just been hit by a car. You shouldn't feel that way. You should actually feel better than when you walked in. And that's why they talk about, I say they, that's why endorphins are mentioned. It's not about trying to burn the most amount of calories. You can easily eat those calories back. And in fact, if you train like really, really hard, you can actually impact the amount of calories you'll burn throughout the day, which means that that will balance out. So you don't need to take your sets like to a complete failure, that's the point where you can't do another rep. The majority of studies actually show that taking your set two to three reps from failure is actually the same as taking it to failure in terms of muscle growth. So there's no point of putting yourself at extra risk for injuries with no extra gain. You don't have to be and shouldn't be dripping with sweat and totally out of breath after each workout. You also don't have to be sore 
the next day like super sore to the point where you can barely move or barely do day-to-day -day activities. You'll be a bit tender, you'll feel the muscles you worked, but you won't be super, like super sore. Unless it's your first time ever doing a specific routine. But what can happen is if you do end up super sore, this can put you off working out because you'll just be like, oh, but I, then I can't walk properly or then I can't type or do this or put my shirt in the morning. That will put you off long term. And it doesn't have to does, doesn't have to be like that. You want to train in a way that it's intense enough and more intense every time to stimulate muscle growth in this case. So what you want to be doing is you want to take your sets, well stop your sets at the point where you've got two to three good reps left. So not going all the way to failure. When I say good reps, I mean with like a strict form as possible. And yeah, that's what you want to be doing. So it's like a, if you were thinking about RP, rate of perceived exertion, if that's what you're familiar with, it's like a seven to eight out of 10. Number three and the final one is make sure you're actually seeing progress. You should be tracking your progress and not just weight. If you're just tracking your weight, you'll get disheartened and you'll likely quit. That's what most people do. So what you wanna be doing is tracking your workouts, also taking photos, taking photos of your body, and maybe if you can and you've got the time, taking measurements as well. Those are the three metrics I track with all my clients, and I find it to be very successful because it paints the picture and it's very motivating. To go into the gym, first of all, you'll save time, by knowing exactly where you left off the last session, and it will gamify it and make it fun. You'll go in thinking, oh, I'm gonna lift slightly heavier this time, and you'll, when you do it, you'll be like, okay, that's a win. I got another rep, I got an, a, a bit more weight. But if you don't track it, you'll never know that. You'll never know when you're getting stronger, and if you're not taking photos as well, and or, like, and, or measurement, you'll never really, look your body in the mirror and be like, wow, I can see the improvement from two weeks ago. So I, I really, really, really recommend tracking. You can track your workouts either in JE Fit or Strong. They're free applications on your phone. I personally use my own app with my clients, which tracks absolutely everything, including photos, measurements, workouts. But you can use JE Fit or Strong for free. So there's no excuses. It will save you time, get you better results and keep you motivated. How are you going to be motivated if you're not getting results or you don't think you're getting results? And that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, hit those bell notifications if you haven't done so already to be alerted as soon as I post a video. Comment with any questions below and if you're a man and you're serious about building muscle and losing fat, head on over to my free Facebook group which has a ton of exclusive resources in it. Until the next video, keep pushing your limits.